In this video, we are going to convolute two discrete signals by using jet transforms concept. That means by using convolution of two signals, convolution property based on convolution property of jet transforms, we are going to deal this problem. So here compute the convolution x of n of the signal x1 of n is equal to 1331. They give an arrow mark here. So without giving that arrow mark also, we can treat that starting one as x of 0 term and x2 of n sequence is given like this. So here how we can write that x, x1 of n in terms of jet transform. So how we can write, how we can calculate the jet transform. They are asking compute the convolution of x of n of the signal. Compute convolution of x of n means x of n is equal to x1 of n convolution with x2 of n. They are asking what is x of n. So here I do not want to proceed in time domain, I want to proceed in jet domain. Generally in convolution concept we are having better way but I want to solve this problem by using jet transform. If we are asked to find out the convolution result by using jet transforms concept we can use like this. At the end I will show you a better solution by using convolution topic itself. So here. For example, same problem if they are asking in terms of jet transforms. So they are asking x of n equivalent to x1 of n and convolution with x2 of n. What is that value they are asking? So I do not want to proceed in time domain. I want to proceed in frequency domain. That means in jet domain. So here x1 of jet multiplication with x2 of jet will be the jet domain of this convoluted signal. According to convolution property, convolution in time domain leads to multiplication in jet domain. So first I need to write x1 of z. So x1 of z is, so for anything that means x of z is equivalent to summation n equivalent to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n. This is the formula. We need to substitute n values. Here if you observe the n values are given from x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 like that. That means this is a purely right sided sequence. This arrow mark indicates that is a x of 0 term and the remaining term right to that are positive terms and left terms is any is there those are called as negative terms that is x of minus 1, x of minus 2 like that. So here I am writing according to that. So this is x of 0 that means n equivalent to 0 term. So x of 0 means 1 into z power 0 that is 1 plus 3 into z power minus 2. 3 into z power minus 1 not 2. So why because so here this is x of 1 term. So when n is equivalent to 1 so this will become x of 1 into z power minus 1 that x of 1 is 3 here 3 into z power minus 1 plus 3 into z power minus 2 plus z power minus 3 1 into z power minus 3 means z power minus 3 similarly I am going to write x2 of z this is totally x1 of z I want to write x2 of z x2 of z is also having some limits it is equivalent to 1 from 0 to 3 that means at n equal to 0, n equivalent to 2, n, e n equivalent to 3 so that is equivalent to 1 at 0, 1, 2, 3 F at 4 instants of time that sample is equivalent to 1. So that means so we need to extend from n equal to 0 once again x of 0 into z power 0 x of 0 value is 1 plus again z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2. Why I am writing 1, 1, 1 means at z power 0 also 1, z power 1 also 1, z, z power 2 that means x of 2 is also 1, z power minus 3 plus we are having 2 more samples 3 less than that means 4 onwards at 4 and 5 that is equivalent to 2. So 2 z power minus 4 plus 2 z power minus 5. So now I need to multiply these two 1 into everything. So I am going to get same thing. So 1 plus z inverse plus z power minus 2 plus z power minus 3 plus 2 z power minus 4 plus 2 z power minus 5. So now 3 z inverse into 
the total thing plus 3 z inverse plus 3 z inverse into z inverse z power minus 2 plus 3 z power minus we need to add another one z power minus 3 and here 3 z power minus 4 plus here you can see 3 z inverse into 2 z power minus 4 so that is 2 into 3 6 z power minus 5 6 z power minus 5 again 6 z power minus 6 plus 6 z power minus 6 we completed these two terms again 3 z power minus 2 into the total thing that means so 3 z power minus 2 plus 3 z power minus 3 plus 3 z power minus 4 plus 3 z power minus 5 so up to here i calculated with multiplication of this 3 z power minus 2 into 2 z power minus 4 so plus 6 z power minus 6 plus 6 z power minus 7 we completed multiplication of 3 z power minus 2 with that sequence plus finally i am doing z power minus 3 into the to total thing so z power minus 3 plus z power minus 4 plus z power minus 5 plus z power minus 6 plus 2 z power minus 7 plus 2 z power minus 8. So now this is the time to add everything. So see here I want to consider the constants. Is there any constants? Yes only one is there as a constant. I am considering that one plus z inverse terms. Where I am having z inverse term? This is one z inverse. In this row here I am having one z inverse and uh, Nowhere I am not having any z inverse terms. So only two times I am having z inverse terms. So this is one z inverse and this is another z inverse. So four z inverse like that z power minus two terms. This is one z power minus two. This is one z power minus two and this is one z power minus two. So three plus three plus one. So, 3 plus 3 plus 1, so that is equal into 7. So, 7 means plus 7 z power minus 2. So, now I am going to deal with z power minus 3 terms. So, this is 1 z power minus 3 plus 3 z power minus 3, 4 z power minus 3 and uh, 7 z power minus 3 and here I am having another z power minus 3. So, totally 4 z power minus 3 terms are there, 1 plus 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once again, I am cross checking. So, z power minus 3 here, 1 is there, 3, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 8. So, 8 z power minus 3 terms plus, so z power minus 4 terms, 2, and here 3, 5 and here I am having 3 that means 8. So 2, 3, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 and plus this one 9. So totally 9 z power minus 4 terms are there. So plus 9 z power minus 4 plus z power minus 5 terms. So, I am dealing with z power minus 5 terms. This is z power minus 5, 2 plus 6 and here 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 1, 10. Totally 10 z power minus 5 terms are there. That means, so here if you observe, so 2 plus 6, 8, 8 plus 3. So, uh, sorry, here z power minus 5 terms we are calculating. So, z power minus 5 terms are, these are 2 and here I am having 6, that means 8, 8 plus 
3 I am having here. So, 11, 11 plus 1, totally 12 I am having here. So, 12 z power minus 5. I have doubt on z power minus 4 also I want to cross check 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 1 9 ok. So now z power minus 6 terms so this is 1 and 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 1 13 so 13 z power minus 6 terms and finally I want to deal with z power minus 7 terms. So this is one and this is another one. So here 6 z power minus 7, 2 z power minus 7, 8 z power minus 7. So finally here I am having 2 z power minus 8. So z power minus 8 term only one term is there. 2z power minus 8. So now if you compare this summation, if you compare this equation with this summation, I just calculated in z domain but we do not want the transform of this convolution. We just want convolution result in time domain only. How we will convert this x of z? This is total x of z which is, which is the multiplication of x1 of z into x2 of z. From this x of x of z, we need to get x of n. How we'll get x of n? Again, by taking the coefficients, then we will get x of n. 4, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 8, 2. So now we will cross check the result by using normal convolution process. So here now how we will do normal convolution means here this is a big sequence I am considering like this at 0, 1, 2, 3 it is equivalent to 1 at 0 to 3 that is equivalent to 1 it is having 4 samples like this 1, 1, 1, 1 and it is equivalent to 2 at 4 and 5. So, at 4 and 5 it is equivalent to 2. This is one sequence. We need to convolute this sequence with this sequence 1, 3, 3, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1. So, 1 into 1 it is equivalent to 1. 1 into everything I am writing like this. 3 into everything 3 into 1, 3, 3, 3, 3, 6, 6. Like this 3 into this sequence 3, 3, 3. 3, 3, 6 into 6. Again 1 into everything. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. We need to take diagonals. I am doing normal convolution process. I am just drawing the diagonals. That is it. And compare. This is equivalent to 1. 3 plus 1, 4. Next 3 plus 3 plus 1, 7. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, 8. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2, that is equivalent to 9. So, 9. And after that, you are having 1 plus 3 plus 2, 5, 6. 6 plus 6, 12. And after that, 6 plus 6 plus 1, 13. And after that, 6 plus 2, 8. And finally, 2. When you are given with convolution of two sequences, discrete sequences, do not go for this method. Just use normal convolution method which I given you in the topic of convolution. You can see how simple that is. We are getting in one minute. But you, you need to know the procedure by using Z transforms. If they are asking any con in any conventional type exam, if they are asking find out the convolution of these two sequences particular sequences by using z transforms convolution property if they are asking like that then definitely you need to know this procedure that is why I given this procedure but whenever you are attending for technical exams you just go for this procedure if you cross check it with this procedure whatever you calculated that means whatever the sequences you convoluted that given the same result. That means the convolution of those two sequences will give you this. But I did not convolute it directly. 
I just take in the transforms that means in Z domain. Why? Because convolution in time domain leads to con multiplication in Z domain. I used that concept and I multiplied the Z transforms of each x1 of n and x2 of n. After multiplication, I got the combined transform. After getting combined transform, I just decoded or inverse Z transform of that. So, I got the signal which given by the convolution of these two sequences. This is X of N. So, but this is the preferred way to calculate the convolution of that type of sequences. This is about inverse Z transform finding by using convolution property.